three, two, one. Lift off of the Falcon 9. Vehicles pitching downrange. Stage one props nominal. Stage one entry startup. Stage one is transonic. Stage one landing range startup. Stage one landing leg deploy. Falcon 9 has landed. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, good morning. Today uh, is a special day. We're flying some rockets, but we've also got a special guest with us out here today at the launch field. I brought none other than... Oh, wait, no, that's not the special guest. That's a special guest. I got Don from Retro Rockets out here with me today. Uh, but yes, Captain Clucky is joining us as well. So Don's been uh, gracious enough to offer his assistance in launching using his uh, warmed up special launch finger. But uh, no, that gives me the ability to, to film hopefully a little bit better. So first up, we've got my uh, 3D printed cloned Alpha 3. And I'm running on a B6-4 running a 15 inch parachute. Skies are clear. Winds are calm. We're going in five, four, three, two, one. That was pretty. There it is. It's an arrow straight. It was perfect up, wasn't it? How's the drift? Not too bad. Not too bad? Okay. Okay. As long as it doesn't land in the backyard. I think twice about a C motor though. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, right? All right, we got touchdown. Let's go get it. All right, we're heading to the rocket. Don got a good beat on it, so. Oh, is that supposed to walk? <laughs> <laughs> well, you promised me. If it, if we lose it, you'll buy me a new one, so. A print, yeah, that's right. I forgot it's a 3D printed one. I don't think I got the, uh, basically the ejection. That house with the, kind of the blue window there. Yeah. That's straight. To where Heading that way? Okay. Hopefully that orange shoot will kind of pop out at us. About 30 to 50 yards in front of that wall. Probably. Oh, it is further out than I thought. Is it really this far out? Uh -huh. Wow. Oh, I see it. Yeah, we're walking right up on it. Okay. It was further than I thought. But, uh, bright orange shoot kind of stands out. See what we got. Nice. And those holes were from previous flights, so I don't know if I don't think we got any damage to the chute. Might have got a little singeing here. No? No, that was perfect. Alright, well that's a great way to start off the day. Five, four, Three, two, one.
Okay, next up we've got the new Estes RTF Space Shuttle. And <clears throat> fortunately I've got Don with me so we can, uh, you know, two sets of eyes are better than one. We're going to both try to keep our eye on the orbiter but have an idea of where the booster lands also. Uh, running it on a C-53 with an 18-inch parachute. Alright, skies are clear, winds are calm. We're going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, good separation. Yeah, I got the orbiter. Glides like the real thing, like a brick. Okay, touchdown on the orbiter. And, oh, I actually see the parachute sticking up. That's good. Straight up. Yep, there's the booster, so easy to find. All right. I, I didn't watch the orbiter. Okay, the orbiter, yeah, it's it's out toward, um, well, that way. <laughs> it's that way. <laughs> it's toward the power line, the the second power line there. Well, since we kind of know where that is. Yeah, we, we'll leave that one alone. Two thousand years later. Okay. Eagle Eye Don found it. Eagle Eye Don. And uh, oh, yeah, there it is. Quarter inch thick flap. So it was coming toward us. So I bet it clipped a bush and then it spun around. But uh, nah, no damage. I don't see. No. Nah. Nice. It's got a mustache. It grew. A, it's got a propeller on the front. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. Well, okay. So that was the hard part. Yeah. Look, it was in line with that that pole. Yeah. Okay. Good deal. All right, and the parachute for the, oh, I see it up there for the booster. Got it, it hung out a flight for you. Yeah, that was good. That was actually a pretty darn good flight. Okay, let's make our way through the, the high weeds here. You know, tell everybody we walked halfway to the highway there. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> we were out there by the that, that tree right there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too proud to admit it. We over uh, overthought it. Okay, how do we get to it? There it is. I got to learn all these little pathways in here. But uh, yeah, good flight on the booster. It actually took it nice and straight up. We had a good. Good separation at the top and uh, a good descent, so excellent. All right, we are two for two for the day. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, next up, an oldie but a goodie. I haven't flown this one in quite a while, but uh, in honor of Don being here, since this was a, a joint venture building and, and experiencing together, I got the Mars Lander out today. Um, flying it on a C-53, running a 30-inch parachute, and um, should I tell him who folded the chute? Just no, in case? No, don't no? Tell him okay. <laughs> if it works, Don folded it. If it doesn't work, I folded it, right? <laughs> so, anyway. So, scanning the sky, skies are clear, winds are calm, we're going for it here. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Is that a C67? <laughs> no. That was a long delay. That was a delay, long delay for a C53. Wow. Well, it landed in uh, softly, which is good. <laughs> I don't think we got any damage. 
Uh, very fortunate it landed in this brush. Boy, she's smoking. Um, yeah, let's... Uh... Well, yeah, we're going to get it out of the dry brush before the, the dog barf starts a fire here. But anyway, let me back up and do a quick sign off. So we got one more flight to go. That was uh, a weird flight, but it survived. Moving on to the next one. Five, four, three, two, one. Two hundred feet launching. Okay, last up for the day, we've got the Starship, and we're going to duplicate our efforts from last week. I'm running the F-15-4, uh, but I do have a new and improved fin can, so hopefully we won't get any melting or burn off, which created that instability there at the end of the flight. So that's the goal of today's flight, is to get a stable climb up. I'm running the uh, Ion and the Jolly Logic 2 on board with a 48-inch parachute. So, that being said, Don's going to arm our altimeter. And on the command, we will do our countdown. Altimeter ready for launch. Okay, we're going in five, four, three, two, one. Two hundred feet launch. Five hundred feet high altitude. Five hundred ninety feet. Wow, five ninety. Four hundred feet. Oh, look at the moon. How's our drift? Uh, so far so good. Okay. Still on this side of the house. That's what I'm hoping for. Three hundred feet. Close. Oh no. We're in the street. Okay, we're gonna have to make a drive over there. That was a lot Two, three, away than four, I five, six, seven. I think it's a seventh house down. Alright. Search and rescue mission. Okay, quick recap here. We're back at the launch site and I do want to show you that we did retrieve the rocket. And uh believe it or not, it was um Oh, there's somebody running out there. Um it was not only behind that house, the seventh house, but it was two homes down the street from there in somebody's front yard in a bush. And uh, fortunately, the ion is a loud beeper, so I was able to, I heard the beep about two houses away, and it uh, guided me in on it, so I was able to retrieve it. So we got all the data, rocket looks good. The fin cans held, although it never really landed on the ground, it landed in a bush, but uh, Looking at them, they, they held their form. And that was a straight flight. It was a good ascent. You had aero straight launches all day. Yeah, no no wobble to it on, on that. So uh, that fin can is the way to go. So all in all, great day. Uh, we're about four for four other than the Mars lander. We'll call it three and a half out of four. Yeah, it wasn't serious damage. Yeah, so. All right, well, thanks for watching, everybody. God bless, and we'll see you at the next one.